Here's a quick video showing you how to back up to an external drive using Time Machine. First of all, you'll need to have two items with you. You'll need to have your MacBook Pro and you'll need to have a backup drive and, of course, also the connection cable between the both. So, what we need to do is, first of all, connect your backup drive to your MacBook Pro. So, plug it in. This could be Firewire, could be USB, your choice. Then, we need to turn on the computer and log in. Log in as admin. So, you use your admin account to log into the computer as we're making system changes here with the backup. Then click on the Apple menu in the top left corner and select System Preferences. Then open Time Machine which you'll find down the bottom in the System um, row. Then we can click once Time Machine program opens you can click on the padlock in the bottom left hand corner to unlock the actual program. Whilst you're doing this also turn on the show time machine statuses in, in the menu bar checkbox so that it shows up in the menu bar. So we click on the padlock that will be you'll be prompted to log in as admin again so log back in say OK then the machines open then you can click on the on and off button to turn the time machine on then select press the select disk button you'll then be prompted with a window to choose the portable drive that's attached to the computer. Choose the portable hard drive, click use for backup, then relock the um, lock icon and Time Machine's set up then ready to go. So you can hit the red dot in the top left hand corner and close Time Machine. Then we'll be presented back with the desktop or the computer's main interface. At that point then up in the menu bar in the top there you can see the Time Machine's like little kind of circle icon with an arrow on it, select the um, Time Machine menu bar icon and you'll see you'll be presented with an option to back up now. Click back up now and your computer will begin its backup process. It'll give you a detail window here showing you where it is in the backup process and how long it's going to take and rah da da da. Um, the first time the process happens, the first time you connect it and back it up, you'll need to leave the computer alone for a little while and let it just go through its backup process. So plug the computer into this power supply, set up the backup process, plug it in, and then let it back up and it'll go through and do its own thing and back up all of your data. Um, once you've completed the first backup, subsequent backups from there will take a comparatively much shorter time because the computer checks the difference between its existing content and the present content and um, it changes only the metadata so the change data and that typically takes a couple of minutes so future backups are very quick to do and once you've done all that your job is done and I hope that helps. Bye! <laughs>